To assess the energetic performance of buildings, the air exchange rate is being determined. This value indicates how often the air volume of a building is exchanged in one hour at 50 Pascal differential pressure. I'd like to show you how we can determine the air exchange rate completely automatically and according to standards using the Verla BC600. This building has been renovated, and now we have to determine the air exchange rate. The Verla BC600 is now installed in the window. The BC600 is placed in the window frame together with the ceiling canvas. And now I can mount the device to the window using the clamp system and the telescopic rod. To put the clamp into place, I move the clamp up the ceiling canvas up to the frame. Then I open the clamp and then clamp it into the frame together with the ceiling canvas. The differential pressure is measured using the two capillary hoses. One hose is plugged into the outer connector and laid outside through the opening in the canvas. The other hose is plugged into the other connection for measuring the internal pressure and placed inside the building. It is very important that the ends of the capillary hoses are not within the flow area of the fan. For the measurement, we use a tablet or a smartphone. First of all, the device is switched on so that I can set up a wireless network to which I then connect. To begin with, of course, I have to determine which parts of the building are to be measured. I have to create a single zone in the building that means I have to open all interior doors and close exterior doors. I enter the inner volume of the building section to be measured in the app. And of course, at the same time, I also installed temporary ceilings as described in the measurement procedures. The checklist integrated in the app helps me during the building inspection to document and apply these temporary ceilings. Before doing the measurement, you perform a preliminary test. The purpose of the preliminary test is to check whether the temporary ceilings can withstand the test pressure. It also means I can make sure that all doors and windows really are closed. Major leakages, which can be detected with a normally moist hand, are documented in the app. In this case, we now carry out the preliminary test at a differential pressure of 50 Pascal. I start the preliminary test in the app, which then also guided me through the measurement process. First of all, I am asked to remove the cover hood so that the Verla BC600 can start to build up the test pressure. The values of the preliminary test are now adopted and then the actual measurement series can start. In this case, I select the positive and negative pressure measurement. Again, I am guided through the measurement according to the standards. First of all, I have to determine the natural pressure difference. To do this, I have to seal the blower unit. Once the natural pressure difference has been determined, you remove the cover hood and the measurement starts first in negative pressure and then in positive pressure. The only thing that changes is the fan's direction of rotation. This means I don't have to remove, turn and remount the blower. The change of the direction of rotation is fully automatic. During the measurement, I can look at the graph and check the pressure curve. All relevant values are shown on the display. The expected 50 Newton value, the flow rate and the current differential pressure. The natural pressure difference is determined again at the end. Before and after the measurement, the natural pressure difference must not exceed 5 Pascal. We now save the measurement result. In the report section of the app, I can take more notes and generate the measurement report, which I then make available to the customer. That's how easy it is to comply with measurement standards with the Verla BC600.